Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Master Computer Science Subject. Today in this video we are going to learn how to compute first and follow for the given grammar. So I have taken an example grammar here. This is a grammar and I have built a table here for which symbols we are going to compute first and follow. So for all the non-terminals, what is given on the left hand side or head of the production rule, for every symbol we are going to find out first and follow. Yes, A, A dash, B and C. Okay, first we start computing first set of all the symbols. So I have taken first of yes. What is the rule for yes? S derives A. So S is replaced by A. Since A is a non-terminal, since A is a variable, I should check what is the rule for A once again. So A is defined as X B A. Out of this, which is the first symbol, it is nothing but X. So first of S is X. Logically also, to explain, as per the rule I am telling now, logically also you can understand in this way. If you try to draw a parse tree from yes, which leads to the derivation of the string, it goes like this. Yes can be replaced by A. A can be further replaced by X, B, A dash. In that the very first terminal what we are obtaining goes to the first set of the symbol. Okay. Next, we compute first of A. First of A is nothing but already we know which is first of X B A dash which is nothing but X. So first of A is X I have written here. Right. Next we are going to compute first of A dash. For A dash there are in fact two alternatives. One is D A dash another one is epsilon. Since A dash directly produces epsilon, first of A dash includes epsilon. Okay, what is the other rule we have? We have D A dash. So, first of A dash is nothing but first of D A dash which is nothing but D. So, first of A dash contains two symbols. One is D, another one is epsilon. So, I have filled the table here. Okay, next let us check what is first of B. Since B directly produces Y, first of B is Y. First of C, from the rule itself we can easily identify first of C is G. So we have computed the first set for all the grammar symbols. Now we are going to compute the follow set. So next we are going to compute the follow set for all the non-terminals here. So, first we find follow of yes. Since S is the start symbol of the grammar, by default, the follow set of yes contains dollar. So, I have included dollar here. Right. I Apart from the dollar, there may be some other symbols also which follow yes in the parse tree. So, how to identify that? Now, just start looking into the production rules. And we need to select the production rules where yes appears on the right hand side of the production rule. In this rule, s do not appear on the right hand side of the production rule. In this rule also, s do not appear on the right hand side. So none of the rules contain s on the right hand side. So follow of yes is just dollar symbol. Okay, next we have to compute follow of a follow of a to compute follow of a once again we need to identify the rules which has a on the right hand side a on the right hand side the first rule has so let us select the rule yes derives a right now i should match this rule with the pattern a derives alpha b beta this is a rule. I have already explained uh, the rules to compute follow set. So according to that, this is the pattern of the rule. And every time we try to attempt to find follow of B. So now we are going to find follow of A. 
so as per this pattern this b should match with this a so in this rule there is no alpha there is no beta only we have b which is a so follow of b is follow of a as per the rule if there is no beta follow of b is equal to follow of a that is the rule actually presence of alpha does not matter at all presence of beta only matters in this rule there is no beta so follow of b is follow of a follow of b means here follow of a because b is matched with a is equal to follow of s yes. or simply you remember if there is no beta after the b the follow set of this symbol is always a follow set of the head of the production row as per that follow of a is equal to follow of s yes. so this is what we identified so as per this we update in the table follow of a is nothing but follow of s yes means so here i have to enter the value dollar right uh next we will compute follow of a dash let me try to utilize the space if not uh, i will move on to the next page we have to compute follow of a dash to find follow of a dash once again in the grammar i have to choose a rule whichever contains a dash on the right hand side so there are two rules this rule as well as this rule both the rules are containing a dash on the right hand side so let me move on to your fresh page now i write both the rules here the first rule is a derives x b a dash and another rule which we have a dash on the right hand side is a dash derives d a dash so first let me consider the rule i have to match the rule with the format what is the format alpha b beta we are going to compute follow of a dash so b should be matched with this before a dash whatever appears is nothing but alpha after a dash if any symbol is there that is known as beta so when i matched with a pattern what i identified there is no beta in the rule so how do i compute as per the rule follow of b is equal to follow of a if there is no beta so as per that follow of a dash is equal to follow of a so i apply this rule and accordingly i update in the table follow of a dash is equal to follow of a it means it contains dollar i cannot decide this is the only symbol in the follow set because there is one more rule which we have to exercise here also what it is i have to match with the same thing a derives alpha this is b and this is beta right so there is no beta here if there is no beta what is the rule follow of b is equal to follow of a what is b here it is a dash follow of a dash is equal to follow of a dash itself there is no much change in the follow set so follow set of a dash also contains dollar now let us move on to the next symbol let us find follow of b that is the next thing till now we found follow of a dash isn't it i will write it here so that when you refer the video once again you will be able to understand so now we are going to find out follow of b so to compute follow of b once again from the rule set we need to select the rule which contains b on the right hand side so which is a rule we have to select this is a rule so let me write the rule a derives x b a dash now i have to write the pattern what is the pattern a derives alpha b beta so for this symbol only we are going to find so match that with b this x belongs to alpha a dash belongs to beta there is beta if there is beta as per the rule follow of b is equal to first of beta follow of b is equal to first of beta this is the rule says so as per that follow of b is b itself here beta is what a dash 
first of a dash. So let us find out what is first of a dash. First of a dash already we have updated as d comma epsilon. So let me write it here. d comma epsilon. Right? So whenever there is an epsilon, ignore that epsilon as of now. Now consider only d. But you cannot ignore the epsilon as such. Now you have to do one modification in the rule. A derives x b a dash. Let me consider the same rule here. We know that follow of b is first of a dash. A dash produces epsilon. Since a dash produces epsilon, replace this a dash by epsilon. Now you have rule only a dash x b. So you try to match this rule with alpha b beta. There is no beta since this beta produces epsilon. This also comes under the rule number 3. So when there is no beta, what is the rule? The rule is very simple. Follow of B is equal to follow of A. Right? But here B is B, A is A. So follow of B is equal to follow of A we have already identified which is dollar. So, follow of B contains D as well as dollar. So, let me update it here. D as well as dollar. Alright. Uh, once again, let me repeat here. This is a rule we have considered. We try to attempt uh, to find follow of B. Follow of B is first of beta. That symbol we have considered. At the same time, we know that first of beta contained epsilon. Whenever first of beta contained epsilon, replace that beta by epsilon. If you replace that beta by epsilon, this is the rule we got. A derives xb. Now, once again, you try to find out what is follow of b. So, follow of b is equal to follow of a. We identified it as dollar. So, d comma dollar is updated here. Now, last computation, we have to identify follow of c. <coughs> To compute follow of C, once again in the rule set, you have to select the rule which has C on the right hand side. There is no rule which contains C on the right hand side. So, we cannot identify follow of C. So, this is the way we have to compute first and follow. I hope you would have understood this. I hope you would have understood this problem. Please take a paper and pen and uh, try solving this problem i will meet you in another video uh, with another example thank you